Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to survive in an endless swarming uh, flood of chrysalids. It is uh, time for Operation Storm Star. Fun fact, low profile mission onto that kind of anyways difficult campaign is not really easy. So for me, I'm going in with very little hopes as it's going to uh, turn out well, but on the upside we only have 20 and uh, 25 enemies including a chrysalid queen So if we pull out a miracle something that might work in our favor uh, I put a real C team together Epithelius, Shooter, Shinrod, Morose, Russ and uh, even put Edgar Alien Poe as a squaddy in here I uh, got some uh, no, new tools, proximity mines uh, might work. We got two uh, of our ghost grenades because that's how we're going to roll. And as always, we just put the B and C gear onto those guys. We don't uh, want to lose anything. As I was just saying that, I saw the wrong color of the weapon. Don't want to lose that superior scope, do we? Anyways, uh, we are ready. We got a Mimic Beacon, uh, we got Reveal, we got two Ghost Grenades and uh, we got plenty of anti-chrysalid armor. So let's see how that whole uh, shenanigan is going to work out. If we're down one or two soldiers, I will evac, but I want to try to pull it off as far as we can. So let's go, wish me luck. All right, we landed. Let's take a look. The game presents us with a nice option for high ground over here. Let's see if this works out. Edgar scouts ahead. All right. Seems like we have a few good options up here. Russ moves up. Double time. Well done. And let's get everybody over here. Okay, the idea must be to stay somewhere, uh, bug in, and uh, try our best. Okay, try our best to pick up fights that we can win, aka Beat. one port at a time. Go, go, go. Heading to that location. Okay, careful here. Um move, move, move. Yeah, that's a bit of a loose position, but I really don't want to spread out too far either. Trooper sectored. Hmm. An Archon. Puppet here. Let's try to remove that cover over here right away. Okay, and the real question is, can we get one of them down? The problem is the Archon might move first and has super good defenses. But okay, whatever. I'm taking the time to brace and just use pistol overwatch. <clears throat> they do have tactical... Uh, they do have... Uh, mm, 
they do have tactical analysis. If I was to flop a grenade in there, that would deal way more damage than anything else I could do. <clears throat> With a full overwatch, it's not the best strategy, but it's a decent strategy. I mean, we could, uh, would get good 11, 12, 13 uh, points of damage in. So that's three dead already, and everybody else would be hopefully unloading on the puppeteer. Let's see if this works. Okay, I, of course, did not plan with a Shoggoth. That destroyed the loot? Yeah, wonderful. Cool. I mean, look, from all of uh, the ways that that could have gone all things considered actually not too bad Back in business. might be a kill yep good solid base damage I like it Reloads and overwatches. Yeah, and I think we're okay. So first pack is gone. Took two explosives, but and and we removed a lot of uh, the cover here. Carefully moving ahead. Okay. I think I want to know what's up ahead. Uh, the answer is nothing. Is Which is quite interesting to me because I would have sworn that we would find something here. Let's hope that the rampant explosions and all of the other turmoil has created some attention. Next pack might be just down here. Okay, let's further hope they're not jumping up here, but are actually going through that corridor. But I'll try a lot of Overwatch because I need every single advantage that I could get. So this might be a bit repetitive. Tried it for a couple of turns, but they haven't yet shown up. <sighs> well, just as I was about to give up, they are coming closer. I like what I'm seeing. It is clear. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. Come get some. Come now. get some. Hey. All right, come, come closer, guys. Unfortunately, we cannot reconceal without wasting our ghost grenades. Uh, 
and I want to save the ghost grenades kind of as a last ditch resort. Okay, I know that these guys at some point will move into us. It's a strong pack, six of them, but with how little actual cover remains, I believe we could uh, take these guys on even without using too many of our consumables. For whatever reason, we have now obtained the ability to track that one pack, which is totally fine by me. It's a little bit like uh, the Reaper ability to highlight individual packs and then they are walking around the map. I'll fast forward until they will run into us. Okay, after about 20 rounds, no, nothing has really changed other than me moving Ross to the front because he's the only one still concealed. And as you can see, uh, the pack is just waiting there. It's one of the XCOM uh, engine mechanics where if the, they exactly know where you're located, they will not run into your Overwatch traps. It sucks, but it's part of the game. I do have an idea though of how we're going to make them pay. We've got a hostile squad here. Never mind. Definitely never mind. Um Good copy, moving on target. Moving back because I need him to shoot. And it might be that another pack is about to run into us. Ooh, the tension is real. Don't want to waste our second uh, scouting uh, beacon yet. Battle scanners are precious. Unbelievable. I mean, I know how the engine works, but it still is unbelievable. Good. Don't want that second pack to interrupt us because I had a plan. Good plan, in my opinion. This should hit all of them. Okay, well, moving up to a slightly better spot. Now it would be the perfect time for them to quote-unquote decide to move in. But they're not, they're just slightly repositioning. Well, do whatever you want, guys, but soon the party is going to be over. As in proximity mine will happen. And I think the most damage that we could deal is launching a plasma grenade right into them. That'll force them to move as well, and we can take it from there. Fire in the hole. 
plus they have tactical analysis all right listen fantastic time to slowly but surely get all of them down Starting with a couple of obvious finishers. Shinrod moves up. X ray neutralized. There's a potential other pack over here. Gotta be really careful. One last guy. Let's just double check. It's a priest and we don't want to mess with a queen. Not immediately. to high ground because that worked well for us so far and if the priest comes up he will die if he runs away that's okay as well if he overwatches that's just whatever Slowly but decisively moving up. Roger that. If you see so. Ten four. There's one more pack before we can tackle the queen. I want to make sure that we're not accidentally triggering that other pack and he's just overwatching okay well we know there is a last pack here moves up Copy that. Shinrod moves up I want to carefully stand over there Still know the queen is back there. Come on. Kill. 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 Kill them all. Moving to position. Good. Let's hurt this guy. Good shot. No problem, boss. 
Let's continue killing him. And there's the sustenance we've been waiting for. End of mind control. Racing. I'm trusting you here. Affirmative, covering now. Done. And we're just taking a different angle here with Shinrod. Reload Overwatch. Takes out stasis. Interesting decision. Costs us a little bit uh, momentum. Unfortunately, the queen is soon going to move up. This should not trigger the queen. Okay, very good. Comment protocol. Solves the priest problem. What are we dealing with? Hunter, hunter, hunter. Hmm. Well, slightly going to trigger. Luckily, chrysalids are typically coming in in a straight line. Come get some. I feel. All right, I'll go. I'm on it. Come get some. is not triggering okay very good in which case this likely is not triggering either thanks to the rock here and it's barely enough to put that cute proximity mine down which means the next time that any of uh, these guys are going to move we're seeing a big fat explosion. Oh, that would be a nice pull. It's everyone on our turn. I wonder if I should do that. They can't move her far. And it's actually not a bad play. All right, let's go. Disoriented. The majority of them are uh, disoriented, let's put it that way.
More damage. And more damage Bertha's more enemies. Now is a good time for teamwork. There you go. Hair trigger. Just what the doctor ordered. put this in I wonder can they even hit us one of them might but the others are too far away so I think I'm better off just trying to kill the chrysalids Okay, this is going to be tough. Adrenaline rush into free hit, uh, heal. We need to keep people alive. That's the main name of the game here. Six points of damage. Seems doable. Move up. Chrysalid Hunter takes five. And I'm wondering whom we should focus on first. My biggest challenge is now a lot of enemies here. It's really a matter of finding the right targets first. The queen is continuing to birth more. So that defensive mine will deal more damage, meaning Chrysalid is almost down. Protection first. I can't let the chrysalid poison continue. This might sting. We do have a mimic beacon if needed. Good chances of actually killing this chrysalid. That's one down, I like it.
This will kill it. Both of the mines are enough to take it down. Let's do the 50-50 on the stun. It's not bad. Yeah, there's a the last pack back here. Gotta be careful. 50-50 failed. Uh, we're going to Overwatch. And I think Blinding Protocol just so that she's not going to move too far in. Don't need the Mimic Beacon yet. Hunter dies. I'm not sure how he could move through both. That didn't make any sense. Alright, something was clearly wrong. Not a big fan of these game breaking mistakes. Good hit. Whatever you say. We still got a Mimic Beacon, which I think we are going to use this round. Run and gun to here. I'm all over it. Okay, we're dealing a lot of damage, but unfortunately every single time she's spawning one of these stupid chrysalids. She's down to two hit points. I'm on it. This gets us into a decent spot and can't hit her. Wonderful. Queen finally down, but we have plenty of uh, little chrysalids to go. Bracing. And they should uh, really go for the Mimic Beacon. Maybe over here. I know that that Mimic Beacon will not trigger the other pack because we've just been standing there, which is the reason why I chose to place it there. Ah, 
Unfortunately, they get a free attack, which is rather atypical. All of the chrysalids cluster up. And we have a fight for survival at our hands. Okay, this is going to be a bit tough. We need to kill the aftermath of what has happened before. And then we need to kind of chew through this pack. Hmm. A lot to unpack here. So let's start with getting the chrysalids down, shall we? Okay, that's one. Hmm. That's two. Unfortunate miss there. Let's try this again. Solid hit, okay. And 50-50 to get this one down. Mm. Alright. Are we going to get the mech? It would be nice. But I'm not expecting it with 30%. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay, let's... Oh, we're unlucky with our hits, or rather the lack thereof. Okay, still a couple of enemies left over. Yeah, and that officer is a problem. But so is the shield bearer. Good, we got a Lancer and two Chrysalids up here. Question is, do we want to give up high ground? Or are we fighting one more round here? I think there's too much reloading and just lack of ammunition, low hit points, and so, and so on going on. Solid copy. Come on over in. So, instead, I think we just need a moment to kind of regroup. We're still in concealment, we just can't really move away. Unfortunately, we've given up our high ground advantage. That was pretty close. You almost spotted us out. Reload, adrenaline rush, into healing, and should we fight or should we wait for one more round? I 
I think we need to wait for one more round. The problem is uh, so many things that are not set up for fighting at the moment. Almost none of the cooldowns are ready. Let's hope we're not getting discovered, elsewise this might not go that well. The enemy just knows where our last position was, so they don't know we're behind the trees. But as always, with an XCOM, well, that really doesn't mean a lot. We could engage now. What's the realistic outcome? Can't get the officer from behind the stone and that would be one of my main targets. I definitely would want to get them down. We do have a subsonic shot though. Not a lot of damage, but it deals some. Does that work together with uh, blue screen rounds is the question. That's the Lancer, not seeing anyone else. But yeah, that is not going to discover us. Yep, might as well take it, why not? Good. Shields are removed. Might be a decent uh, time to actually start shredding through them. Um. We could potentially kill all three of them. Difficult choice. Difficult choice really because here's, here's the thought process. If we unload now, we can kill three. There is still one more uh, shield bearer, the captain and one more trooper. That's another three versus six. Uh, we have very limited options to remove their, uh, to shred their stupid armor. Matter of fact, I'm currently not seeing a single one, which means we really got to work through all of the armor. So that's option number one. Option number two is, which I would call the lame way of having Russ essentially uh, use his blind sense on cooldown and just shoot these guys. But the moment that someone moves over here, we're effed. Not sure guys, not sure. I thought a little bit about it. There are very limited options of how I can see that we're squeezing out a win here. Definitely the Lancer needs to go. And I think we we need to use our next ghost grenade. Just not seeing many other options really. All right, let's go.
Um, here that would be a good shirt uh, for the stun lancer did we really just bring bring one blue screen rounds bit disappointed about my own stupidity here. like it running and gunning good let's kill the chrysalid okay not great but okay Are we trying another haywire? At some point it needs to work. Oh god damn it. Ah. Well, didn't work again. Stun Lancer, crit, come on. Oh yeah. Oh, that was good. Beautiful. And that's a kill. Okay. We're officially out of escape tools from now on it is do or die and the advent officer will be one of our next targets Good, Edgar Alien will be in the front line. Um. So is Matt. Good, let's blindside. I said a crit, which also removed. Common protocol could easily take him down, but I think we're staying in concealment for now. Uh, 
Okay, we're... Why did I overwatch with pistol? I should have reloaded. Stupid me. Okay, we can definitely get the mech down. Question is, what will happen afterwards? Reload into brace weapon. Could I try another hack? Would that reveal us? Potentially not. Who knows? <laughs> Finally! Finally, we got ourselves a Mac. And with that, we do have some armor shredding capabilities. Let's make sure we're healing. Advent officer. Good. Let's just start working on the officer because that's the bigger uh, or biggest threat here. Nice little blind side. Disorients him. And hits very well. Let them deal with the Mac. Yeah, that was a good hit. How many more turns will we have it? That's our last one, so we're not going to heal it. Instead, we're going to move up and are going to remove not only cover, but shred ourselves. Last turn. Come on guys, kill the mech. It's not that difficult. Okay. That solves the mech problem. Advent officer gets disoriented again. I wish I could just kill him without getting revealed, but that's not how it works. We really only have one ability that works out of being concealed, but these guys should know that we're here. So currently we're fine. This guy should move back. Shouldn't move in our direction. Unless, of course, 
they are cheating again. Kill him. I don't want to lose everyone's concealment. I know he's going to discover us next, so might as well do what every good strategist would do and sacrifice one for the greater good. Oh, we haven't even... Okay, well, now we're talking. Uh, okay, didn't know that we would stay in cover. Leaving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Come get some. Got it covered. Scanning it. All right. More reloading. Um, I actually think Epi back there makes a lot of sense. Little bit of extra aid protocol doesn't reveal us. Okay, are they coming back? Are we forced to move into them? Because currently I like our position. Good, let's wait for them. They are moving further away instead of coming closer, which means we could reclaim our high ground. Not a bad idea. Game might be tricking us into moving forward, but I'm well aware that we can't keep up with our cover forever. It's just not going to work. Double time. What was that? And if these guys are just staying there for now, On my way. I don't necessarily mind that. Roger that. think I believe this one here is a decent uh, half cover position happy moves up to here okay
covered. And Moros should be the first target if they are going to attack. For now, let them just sit down there and we're going to get them down slowly but surely. Problem here is, of course, the massive amount of armor, right? need some at least some sort of uh, armor penetration Eyes on the prize. Not overwatch. brace reload overwatch we'll get that other guy down first Trooper is the biggest uh, or bigger problem here. Not even sure if this is the last pack. And I hate resorting back to stupid tactics like this, but we're, we're running literally out of steam. The enemy suspects that we're here, but they don't know where we are. I like that implication of an invisible sniper somewhere. It's cool. Specifically on non-timed uh, missions, oh, this is an actual real good ability. Starting to wither down this guy. A little bit more damage this time. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Shieldbearer apparently wants to stay closer to us, that's fine. We need crits. And even good uh, damage crits are just dealing two points of damage thanks to the lack of armor penetration. But he's down to six hit points. And his friend is one shot away from getting absolutely blasted. Well, at least no one can say I'm not using the proficiency class to the full pot uh, fullest potential. It's a bit lame, but uh, mm, the game really is forcing me into these extreme measures. Come on, you can't tell me that you're now moving away. Exactly. We all know you wanted to get a bit closer. Yeah, but I'm not taking a 50-50 on a two-turn cooldown ability for maybe one point of damage. No, 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 no. You need to expose yourself a little bit more. Just like that. Good job. I sincerely hope this is the last pack. Minimum damage. Problem is, non-crits are just doing nothing against uh, them. 
for armor without armor uh, reduction. Well, we, I shouldn't say without armor reduction. We had plenty of tools for armor penetration. I went through three grenades, three proximity mines, and two uh, um, uh, quick mines. But this is also pack number four or five. And the problem is we really needed to use a lot of the explosives on our way just to kill the enemy smoothly. Because you can see if we're not doing that, we're almost dealing no, po uh, no damage. I'm just trying to use the confusion of them. Rust braces and let's move on. Good, they are still trying to find us, but they are not very good at searching. to overwatch one one more the reason why i'm careful is there is a minute chance that this is not even the last pack i've lost a tr uh, track of counting and given that he runs there is a good chance that this indeed is not the last pack xcom don't do me dirty like this Please, don't tell me there is another pack. Hostile forces spotted. <sighs> Spectre Prime. Not even sure if I should be joyful or if I should be crying. This is a disaster. This is a complete and utter disaster. See, that's why they always went further to to the back. They looked uh, for the proximity to the other pack, in an in an attempt to try to lure us into into false sense of security. Damn it! I knew it. <sighs> Okay, well, I suppose it worked so far. Might as well give it a good try. I'm not sure if the ammunition will count. I think it does. I don't know if that really will keep us in concealment. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. At the moment, let's just stay here for now. Alright, what are we dealing with? Spectre Prime, Shield Bearer, Normal Spectre, uh, I think there was another Normal Advent. Pfft, okay, well, okay, oh, there are a couple more Advents, actually. 
Got it covered. Locked and loaded. I'm on it. I'm on it. Moving. I'm on it. Overwatch. Specter comes in. But so does uh, the elite stun lancer who now um, forced us to stay here. Blindside. Into disorientation. Unfortunately, that really doesn't change much. He might be just charging into us. Okay, well, we can't move away from anyone. I think the Overwatches would not do anything because we are individually concealed. Not sure, but that's a relative high chance. I'm going to try to test to deal as much damage as possible with that strategy. Prime might be a good target. Because it's fast and it can vanish quite, uh, quite quickly. Normal Spectre is also a good target. And Elite Lancer is definitely a good target. All right, target-rich environment is, I always used to say, give me a crit. All right, ammunition does not count against these guys. That is good to know. Okay, it could explode any moment. It's just we're playing it safe. Reload, uh, Overwatch rather. Lots of Overwatch, reload. Okay, whom do we want to get down first? I, th I think the Spectre Prime is a big threat. And if we could uh, get around the Prime reactions, that would be awesome. So every single point of damage there is much appreciated. On the other hand, the Elite Lancer with his stupid baton is incredibly strong as well at the moment this lame strategy seems to function and i'm not going willing to give up on it very nice hit specter is disoriented and almost down
Okay, they are huddling. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as they don't know from where they are being shot and are not uh, eager to explore further, we can pick off one by one. It will just take some time. And we'll need to go through the cooldowns. It's one of those situations where I feel that my own uh, choices of how I set up the run force me into a corner where this is... I, I know that I can win uh, this very mission. And I don't want to give away that opportunity just to create kind of a more dramatic fight, so to, uh, so to speak. So as long as I can keep up this uh, quite nice deadlock that I have on uh, all of them. I think it would be stupid for me to like, kind of throw that away. At the same time, I'm definitely aware that these guys are coming closer. And we might see an unfair reveal where the Spectre Prime quote-unquote accidentally yeah just moves into the full enemy suite well effort Good, now that the gig is over. Wow. Okay. Fifty fifty and actually killing the prime. One hundred percent chance in nearly killing it. I think since he's disoriented, reload nearly killing it is the right play. Okay, well they only know about Russ and clearly Edgar and Poe, right? Time to get down the Elite Lancer next. 80% miss. Full cover, flanking, high ground, best that we can do. Run gun with shooter into full cover. No, not good. close, not quite, but close. Out. Full cover, I need the flanking, and come on, kill him. Just a off. All right, he dodged that. Happy with an overwatch and a chance of him moving in and then we can kill him with an overwatch. Alright, 
Kill him. Very nice. Very nice. Four turns. Got to deal with the trooper first. Good hit. Good, Spectre takes the blinding protocol. He could definitely flank us, that's a problem. Full cover for another flank, 50-50. No bueno. Come on, focus. Even though this is flankable, we need to take the initiative here. If we don't clear the field, they will eventually overpower us. There's the flank. Move to here. Next turn we're going to revive. Shinrod needs to stay steady there. Deflection. Let's do this. Reloading. I'm going. Far enough, getting far enough away to not be shadow melted immediately. I think we can deal enough damage to one-shot him. And we're going to be flanked either way. So the solution is a hit and maybe a hair trigger. Okay, cool. Well, that works. Adrenaline rush into stabilize. Back 
into reload. All right, I'll go. Shooter moves over. Nicely hits the Spectre. Becomes aggressive. Mm -hmm. All right, I know that it has lightning reflexes, but there are limited things that I can do. Might as well double overwatch in hope that lightning reflexes will be triggered and then the second shot will hit. There's the lightning reflexes. And it worked. <laughs> oh my lord, what was uh, that kind of a mission? Unbelievable. It was almost a clear loss, but somehow we managed to get through that. I'm not going to lie, there were uh, periods of me doubting whether or not we can pull it off. And Russ, you are a true hero. Potentially the most the damage in the entire mission. Shooter. Zone control. Uh, moves fully in. I like that. But here we will need to be uh, taking an anti-chrysalid option. Edgar Alien Poe. Even got a promotion out of it. Beautiful. Oh wow. Three Illarium cores. Dozens of corpses. And we got Obsessive Reloader, which I mentioned prior to the mission is one of the worst. One of the single worst options that you could take. Well, we didn't want to play with sparks, so it's not happening. Wow, can't believe that that actually went through. Good, we need more contacts and we wanted to go to South America. Plus, soon we wanted to fight against the assassin. Um, look, Intel for six days might be good. We could use some more Intel to expand, Avengers. so I'm actually going to take that. And we need more contacts first and foremost. Codex Brain is soon done. Uh, Into the Fire uh, will give us uh, the position of the Assassin, so that is important as well. New objective added. Commander, now that we've built the Shadow Chamber, we should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before. Added. We're making progress, Commander. Fifty-one enemies. <sighs> oh boy. Our our small or slim chances of actually winning uh, this just went out of the window. 
Holy moly, 51 enemies, and that's just the base. There might even be an alien ruler on top of it. Oh lord. Well, this is really bad. Your friends realize that their fate hinges only on your return. 45 chrysalid chameleons. You, you felt that that was an appropriate sort of uh, thing to do. 45 chameleons, hive swarm siege. I know how that one went when I played uh, the Royal Rumble. It was uh, the one where I uh, bunkered down in a building and used death from above because dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of chrysalids were coming up. But 45 just straight up chrysalid chameleons. Okay. Yeah. No, that's a sure loss. I'm... I don't know how to combat that. 45 chrysalid chameleons. Hmm. I... I have no idea how to uh, deal with that one. They will just overrun us. There will be a chrysalid chameleon every step of the way. And if the tech line every step of the way kind of triggers the bodyguard music from Whitney Houston, it's the opposite. Uh, it is a question of how much can they shred you. Okay, well, we're going to we're going to figure that out just like we figured out all of the other stuff. If this falls, we can immediately reconnect. I just won the other mission, so might as well just win that also. Guys, I need a couple of uh, motivational like buttons, please, and uh, some friendly comments because this year is turning into an absolute disaster of a campaign. Thanks for watching and see you in two days. Bye-bye.